Dear friends, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The machine I'm going to do would be Hackenos Lurkum Force. The link will be added into the description section below, so that you can download and play the machine. I don't think this machine is intermediate. Maybe this is very suitable for the beginner. So. Uh, of course, before we go ahead, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel, and leave a like below. This will help me, uh, uh, with many many things, including the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch over to the Caninix VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target, the utility I'd like to use. As always. Would be net discover, and as you can see over here, I use the options the the hyphen i or dash i to specify the interface. So the so the all packets to discover the hosts or the machines would be sent from this interface, and also the response would be arriving at this interface as well. And also, I use the option of dash r to specify the network range to narrow down the the scope of the scanning. Okay, so now we can press enter. As you can see over here, the IP address of the target could be recognized as one hundred and sixty. So what uh, should we? Do next, we need to do the port and self scanning with a map. To save time of this video, I've already completed before. So for now, we just get out its result. As you can see over here, I use the option like since again, the versus again, the default script scan, and then followed by the dash p dash to do the full range port scan. The last option of all is o n. To output the result into this file, so from the map scanning, we can tell that the target has one, two, three, open port numbers in total. The first one is twenty one, which is running FTP service, and also the version information. Of course, the map cannot make sure the exact version information, and however. You know, by the default script scanning, or with the FTP service, can tell tell us that the target is, you know, allows. Sorry, is not is my bad. Allows anonymous FTP logging, and so afterwards we need to check it out manually. And the next one is twenty two, which is running SSH service and also the version information. I don't think we can find any vulnerability for this particular version. Okay, and the last one is eighty, which is running HTTP service and also the version information Apache two. So what do we have to do next? Of course, the next stage would be immersion. However, where should we start from? Just I stated in the other videos, if the target. Has surface running with relation in relation in relation in re, sorry my bad in relation to the file sharing for example like FTP like Samba like NFS such surface should become the first choice to emulate. Of course, this is just my personal methodology. Okay, so in this case would be FTP surface. So. And because the version is not very clear or very certain, and uh, so we cannot uh, maybe it's not uh, worth uh, investigating the vulnerability for this uh, version. However, we can log in to the target by FTP, and here we got some error. The security hack knows a very. Weird, right? We can copy. This is not a standard banner after all, and the IP address should be this one. So the FTP emulation. What、uh, what we've got 
the first one, uh, some information. So maybe they would be the username or password. Maybe the password, not a username. Okay, so we can put it aside for a while. And let's continue. We can try to use anonymous and no password. As you can see, we successfully log in to the target via FTP. And uh, however, nothing there, empty, totally empty at this moment. So how to do? You know, we need to do some, uh, you know, immersion or need to do some investigation. For example, the we need to check whether we can navigate across different directories. For example, like we can can we navigate to the home directory? However, we got a five 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 zero forbidden fail to change directory error. So next, we need to check whether we have permission to upload the file. We can create, for example, create the file, and we can use the command put and test. However, we got the permission denied. Same error. Sorry, not the same error, but the error code is the same, 550. So I think we have read down almost everything what we can uh, with respect to FTP surface. And so far, we have really got a very important discovery that this information, maybe this should be the password or credentials, right? So now we can exit from the FTP session. And it's time to emulate the web application. And so how to do? We can open up the browser and put the IP address of the target into the address bar of the browser. Oh, sorry. All I'm typing. And we got the site back. So this is the Hacker North, the home. Uh, but um, mm, this is not uh, effective. And the surface which will be led to internet because I configure uh, this machine or this target machine as host only. So this, but uh, of course we can open link. This just uh, sorry. This is I explained it. I explained uh, running. Okay, but uh, you know this is just uh, some information. Um, has nothing to do uh, with this machine. Okay. And similarly for the block, okay? So also similarly, we need to check the source code by viewing page source. And here we got the link, the file. You know, this one caught our attention most. You know, this is the purpose fully uh, written by the author from the limb, okay? I think should be this one. We can open link in new tab. However, we are required to supply the credentials. So we can try to use admin and admin as password as well. Sign in. Of course, we can use the... So how to handle the HTTP basic authentication? There will be two ways. The you know, the HTTP basic authentication, how to do. We can use the, 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 the first way would be the brute force, for example, with the Hydra. And also, we, we of course, the information emulation, we can based on the information, what we can get from somewhere else, okay? So this case should be this one. We got this possible credential during the FTP emulation. Okay, so now because this will cost time and uh, resource, always we need to prefer uh, uh, the second technique. So how to do? We can copy uh, this possible password and log in to the this application. The username would be a domain and sign in. It does work. Fantastic. Welcome force. And even uh, this one can do the ping. For example, we can try to use local host as a target to ping. So this function, the ping, uh, can 
uh, can be executed uh, without a problem. And at this point, we can make a reasonable guess. Um, this uh, form or this function is vulnerable to the command injection vulnerability. So, for example, we can try use the semicolon ping. However, nothing returned. It means that uh, there's some sort of control in place on the target. We need to bypass such uh, such a control. For example, we can use the second way. Uh, and we got nothing back from the application. And then we can use the tunnel, vertical bar, and we can use the OS. Uh, this time we got something back. The command ls has been uh, run uh, successfully, and even we can got something the out. So I think this should be the this uh, this uh, page itself. So next, I think before we try, for example, get uh, to get the the foothold on the target, we need to take a look at uh, uh, this this file or you know, to retrieve the source code of this, uh, this file. And we can copy. You know, after all, we need to know which kind of control is adopted by the application. Okay, so now we can, for example, we can use the cat out. As you can see, we successfully retrieved. Maybe we can uh, view page source. And it's a set to submit request IP. Of course, this should be the, the IP. And we submit as a parameter. And here are substitutions. They mean that uh, this should be serving as a blacklist. So we cannot. Yeah, even we cannot put the space behind this a uh, tunnel or the vertical bar and uh, the end and the dollar. So I think many reverse command cannot be uh, executed uh, successfully. Okay, so we need to find a way. And uh, in this video, although I've re I think I've already demonstrated this technique, you know, you can go to the website like Pentest, a monkey website, or something else. Other website, you can, you know, you can get the command. But uh, most of it will involve, you, for example, like the dash, or you, you will use the princesses. We have the princess uh, symbol or characters. So the, the such command cannot work uh, for, for, for sure, okay? And however... I'd like to take another way. We can download, oh, sorry, not download, from the perspective of the canine should be upload. We can upload the malicious or PHP reverse your file to the target. And uh, let me show you in practice. I've already got uh, uh, this file ready, which you can get it from the pen test monkey website. And next, we need to uh, you know, we need to upload to this file to the target. And the way we, in order to do that, we need to set up the web server on the Kali Linux. And then we go back and we can, which one? We can run wget. Because, uh, you know, this command, wget, and followed by the URL, doesn't include any blacklist character, right? So now we can ping. And as you can see, the, the web server, on which is running on the Kaninix, successfully uh, got the request. It means that uh, the PHP, uh, this file, has been uploaded without a problem. So next, we need to, you know, we need to 
access this file to get initial foothold on the target and uh, to do uh, however we need to set up the listener beforehand okay so we can set up the listener so next we need to access this file we can copy and It looks like it's working perfectly. As you can see over here, we have already successfully got a collection from the target. Next, we need to spawn the, the interactive shell we, by running Python. We can check Python. The version of Python, Python 2 is there. And then we can run importing uh, module of PTY, PTY spawn. Okay, next also we can define the term valuable. So, so then we can, for them clear screen, and then we can, got, uh, we can get the bigger space. Okay. So next we need to do some local emulation. For example, we can go to the home directory. There is a one user Rukum. We can go into this home directory. We can cut out the user flag without a problem, right? And uh, next, uh, we can how to do. Also, we can check the kernel. Mm, the, this kernel maybe is vulnerable, but uh, I will not uh, make use of the exploit kernel kernel, uh, sorry, the kernel exploit for this case. So next, you know, just now we have really got the password, right? And although this password is used by the HTTP basic authentication, in many cases, especially for the CTF-like machines, that there is one common vulnerability, uh, which is the credential reuse vulnerability so next we can try to use this password to switch or make lat movement to another user it does work fantastic right and next i think from here we can know that maybe this user Rukum, can run sudo it does can even can run all commands without supplying the password of a root user. So the privilege, privilege exclusion would be very, very, very easy. And so we just run like a bin bash. And as you can see, we have already elevate, elevated the privilege to root user. And we can grab the root flag without any problem. So that's it. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day, please.